Okay, so we're just going to talk about simple list views in this video. And list views are a little more complicated than screen objects like buttons and text views. And that's because their static specification is more different from the way it's handled dynamically in code. So let's take a look at what that means, what's going on. So first let's just take, take a look at this layout and sort of getting the big picture items here. There's a coordinator layout. Coordinator layout is a lot like a frame layout or like a sort of, I guess the one you've seen is a relative layout. Um, it just, the coordination is for visual effects. So it was the default for a while. I think constraint now is the default, but I've got a coordinator layout and then inside I've got a, a linear layout that's vertical and I've got um, an application bar for a toolbar, you know, application bar layout inside the layout is a toolbar. So there, there's a bunch of stuff going on here, but n none of this is interesting. Um, and, and in fact, you know, this isn't even interesting. There's a refresh, swipe refresh layout, and it's, it's there for a reason that you'll you'll see eventually. But as you can see, the, 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 the item that dominates the screen is the list view. So this is a list view object. It's got an ID, and it's, you know, as, as big as it can be. And you can see that the preview that it's giving you is this sort of very generic, you know, one item, one sub item, it doesn't really know what this list view is going to look like. Okay, so let's take a look at how we deal with a, a simple list view. So here we're coming in on onCreate, and we do the, the same things we always do. We call super onCreate, we call set content view with our activity main, and uh, we're going to init my toolbar here and, you know, go over this a little bit in class, but there's there's nothing sort of particularly uh, special going on here, but I'm, I'm doing some things like setting up the navigation icon and setting the title text. But let's look at this, because this is the heart of the list view. And the heart of the heart, the center of the center, is this adapter object. And the adapter is what sort of binds together the two sides of the list view. Okay, that this is this is sort of the, the the key thing about a list view is one two three four five six seven eight nine. In this case, there are nine items on the screen, and there are only ever nine items on the screen. Even if you have ten items in your list, and that's the Zen Cohen insight of the list view. And if you really understand that, then you realize like, oh, okay. So there's basically sort of two views of this list. One is the data structure view, which is, you know, this list has 10 objects. And the other is the sort of view list, which is like, well, which of the nine objects am I actually seeing? Okay, and we're gonna, we're gonna move back and forth between these two views and the, the object that allows us to move back and forth is an adapter. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, this adapter is uh, for an array of strings, and it's a fixed length array of strings, and you have to pass in a context object, which is sort of like, you know, your um, activity is a context object. It's like, you know, who's controlling the screen. And then here, uh, this is a little bit funny syntax we might not have seen before. Instead of just r.layout.something, which is a global variable that refers to your resources. Android.r are global variables that are provided by Android. Now, we, we generally don't use these, but occasionally they're useful. And this one is called simple, oh, yeah, simple list item one. And uh, I, should, I should have practiced this. Can you, is that gonna do it? Yeah, so this actually, um, I, I pressed uh, control alt B, control alt B, and that brings me to the uh, definition of simple list item one, which 
of course, is completely worthless because uh, this is just the integer definition of it. Um, we can you can look on the web for simple list item one dot XML and you can see what the XML looks like. It's it's dog simple. Okay, <clears throat> and then uh, I've actually got a, a list of uh, Grateful Dead albums up here. And this is just a, a, a standard Java array. There's nothing uh, special going on here. This is just Java initialization syntax, and these are the albums done by the Grateful Dead. Um, one of which is available, and maybe I, I didn't put the best of. The best of is available in the shopping lane of Whole Foods, which somehow I found disturbing. Okay. Um, the, the idea that someone would call it a shopping lane is what I found disturbing. Okay, so, um, okay, this adapter takes an array of strings, array of type, and it, it gives me back this thing called a list adapter. And uh, a list view, I'm going to get the list view from the layout. That's my list view. And I'm going to connect these things. I'm going to say, hey, list view, here's your adapter. Okay, and remember what this adapter is doing is the adapter knows about every single string. And what it's going to do is it's it's adapting this long list of strings to the view that only has a subset of those strings. Okay, again, that is the key insight of the list view. I'm trying to make sure that is clear so I'll keep circling around to it. And then um that you know that's that's really it like you know we don't even need this that's all we need to sort of display this list in a list view and if if we did that and we ran it it would look something like this so you know whatever we got some app bar that's a terrible color that i chose um and it's got whatever I icons up here you don't even care this is a list view of these strings, okay? And the code that we wrote basically gets you that. Okay, the the thing that we, the, you know, the one sort of bit of dynamic behavior that we put in here and, and we do it because it, it does um, help you understand what's going on. Just like on our uh, buttons, you know, we like to put on click listeners for a list view, we're setting an on an on item click listener, and that on item click listener does a cool thing. So first of all, it gives us this adapter view, and it gives us the position that was clicked. And so when you combine these things, you can actually get the object from the adapter view, get item at position. So the thing is, this position might be 10, even though there aren't 10 slots on the screen. But this is the position in the array. And then this adapter view tells us what object was actually is actually on the screen at that, at that position, or what was actually clicked. And therefore, it, it, you know, it was on the screen when it was clicked. And then we're just going to um, tell you what, what that is. And I think this actually is a string. I think, I think this I think this string value of call is redundant because uh, in this case the adapter is just an adapter of of, of uh, strings. So we're getting the item at the position, and that's going to be a string, and that's the album we picked, and we're going to put that into a toast. Okay, so what does this look like? Come over here, scroll up, or whatever. Live Dead, great album. You selected Live Dead. Wake of the Flood. You selected Wake of the Flood. Yeah, you, you get the idea. Um, you know, we could even here. You know, we're gonna do a little live coding. So let's let's do you selected. Um, we'll say you selected item, and we'll say uh, string value of i. Plus, we'll space.
base plus. So I'm not a masochist. I'm not going to try two different things on a live video because I don't want to reshoot this video. Okay, our gradle is building. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Boom. You selected item zero. Yeah, so I start everything with zero. Okay, and so the sun is one. See, down here, blues for Allah is 11. Now scroll up, steal your face, terrible album. That's 12. So you can see it's 12, but, you know, oh, well, whatever. Here, it's whatever is at the top. This is still item 10. Okay, so this position is the position in the data structure, not in the view. Okay, but this, you know, having it, and when you ask the uh, adapter view, it actually gives you back the item that's in that position. Okay, and that's really it. So the other stuff that's in, and this code will be distributed in demos, the other stuff that's in here is just stuff like the menu and, you know, what happens when you choose menu items and doing, this is, you're starting a, a different um, activity that I'll, I'll talk about later. But this this is really it, okay? This is the beginning of list views. List views are really important and they can be very confusing. And so it's important to start out with a good understanding because if you don't get this, it's going to be hard to get the, you know, as we Okay, great. Well, yeah, now I'm really stopping the video. Thanks.